Now coming to Doe's response curve, we have two kind of curve. When we plot a graph, on y-axis we take response, x-axis we take Doe's, we have two kind of graph. One is this hyperbola graph, another one is the sigmoid graph. So this sigmoid graph is the log DRC Doe's response curve graph and this is the graph which we use clinically. There are three important parameters that can be obtained from a log DRC graph, which is the dose response graph, potency, efficiency and slope. Now potency tells about the drug, uh, which drug produces more effect on the lower dose. If we give low, low amount of dose, still the drug is producing large effect. So that is the potency, how strong a drug is. If you take drug comparison between drug A and drug B, now if you see the concentration drug which is on x-axis, so take a point for drug A on x-axis, take a point uh, for, from drug B on uh, x-axis, so you see that A is more potent than B because low amount of drug A is more effective than low amount of drug B. So this is because A require lesser dose so A is more potent than the drug B. So left and right tells about the left or right tells about the potency. So potency tells about how strong a drug is, tells about the drug produces more effect on the lower dose. Now the second point is the efficacy. Efficacy tells about the maximum effect of the drug. That means a maximum response drug can give. Higher and lower tells about the efficacy. So a has got more efficacy than drug D. So the higher and lower point tells about the efficacy. Right and left tells about the potency and lower and higher tells about the efficacy and clinical efficacy is more important than the potency. So slopes tell S for slope and remember S for safety. Slope tells the safety of a drug. If the drug is more slope, it is less safer. A sudden rise in the slope signifies toxicity. So efficacy, clinical efficacy is more important than the potency and it tells about the height of the dose response. So it is basically the upper, higher and the lower tells about the efficacy and potency right side and left side. Slope tells about the safety of a drug. S for slope, S for safety. If there is a more slope, that means drug is less safer, drug is more toxic in case of a sudden rise or sudden slope. Now coming to the log DRC, which is the dose response curve, you take a response on the y-axis that is percentage of subject response and on the x-axis we take a log dose of certain drug. So if you take this log DRC it tells the effect of the drug on the population. We have E50 which is present at the 50%. So this 50% response that is effective dose in 50% of the population. On the y-axis we have percentage of subject response. If 50% say suppose you are testing a drug in 100 people. So 50% of the people that means 50 people are responding to a particular dose or particular drug that is ED50 which is the median effective dose 50. So median effective dose or effective dose 50 is effective dose in 50% in the patient. If the 50% responds to respond to a particular dose. LD50 is when 50 50% of the animal die from a dose. So say suppose if a drug is tested in 100 animals and 50% of the animal die, the dose at which 50% of the animal die is the LD50. The dose at which the 50% people responds is ED50, E is effective dose 50. So 50% 50 of the population or people are responding that is ED50 which is the median effective dose. LD50 is the median lethal dose at which the 50% of the animals die. And therapeutic index is LD50 divided by ED50 that tells about the therapeutic index that is the margin of the safety of a drug. So ED50, LD50, then LD50 divided by ED50 is the therapeutic index and it tells about the margin of the safety of a drug. So it is an indicator for the safety of a drug that is therapeutic index, very important. If you increase the therapeutic index, therapeutic index, the drug is safer. And if you decrease the therapeutic index, then the drug is unsafe. 
so it tells about the safety therapeutic index tells about the margin of safety of a drug high affinity of drug will enable it to be used in low concentration 